Hi guys, it's Ben from the Parker Brothers and this video is a little bit different. I'm actually on my way down with my good, good friend, Matt Wallace. We're on our way to go fishing today. So some of you may know me, uh, obviously through cars, but my other passion, my other hobby in life is carp fishing. So today, uh, it's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna go up, we're heading to Fort Lee now. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna do 24 hours up there and see how we get on. So a little bit more of an insight on uh, Fort Lee it's about it's 18 acres there's around two and a half thousand fish in the lake itself it's a very open plan lake i think there's what three islands what it is there something like that yeah there's three islands uh the main the main part of the lake is quite quite clear the islands are one one to the left one to the right and then one just a little bit back um other than that to the back end of the uh, lake you've got a nice clear open swim if you want to fish uh, i reckon spotting will be quite good this sort of time, uh, this sort of time of year but uh, we'd like to say we just have to wait and see like Ben says there's a lovely selection of fish in there just going for a few pictures um, I've only ever fished it once um, unfortunately he wasn't able to catch but um, hopefully going forward with what the knowledge we picked up on the last time we went um, I reckon we'll do quite well tonight so some of you may be wondering what the hell we're going up in today so I've got a Honda SMX as a daily I've owned the car now probably three years. I absolutely love the car. I get terrorised for a lot through friends and brother even. Um, you know, why the hell do you drive that when you've got sort of an NSX at home? But now I love it. It's on 200,000 miles. I've got all the gear in it. You can see next to me now. We're absolutely rammed with gear in it um, to do our session. So yeah, that's what we're going up in the SMX. So currently at the moment, we're just about to enter um, Thorpe Lee Fisheries. We're just pulling in now, so I thought um, I'll give you a nice overview of the lake as we drive in. As you can see guys, just heading into the entrance. There you go, the lake's just over on our left hand, on our right hand side, sorry. Got my left and right middle up, uh, muggled up there. As you can see, doesn't seem that busy. Fingers crossed, fish are about. So we've just turned up, got out of the car, walked over to the lake. We're just gonna have a little walk around before we do anything. Uh, but we're at the bottom of the lake now. This is peg one. So this is the, it's quite short range fish in here, really. Was that a fish just turned over nah, the back? Just more just more the more. But yeah, so this is uh, the bottom end of the lake, but we're gonna walk around now and sort of keep you updated. So here you got peg 54 and 55. Now I've fished 54 before. I've had a couple of fish out of there. Um, probably beginning of the year, I think that was March sort of time, but you can see the water you've got in front of you there. Again, peg 54 this is. Really lovely lake. There's only one other person on the lake fishing to the right here. Um, you can probably see his marker getting flicked in there. But when I was fishing here before, I was fishing, I think it was about 22 wraps um, in the borderline of the trees, just here and here. And there was an open area and I, and I had just two fish, but that was early beginning of the year. And I think the, the, the biggest then was about 22 pounds, something like that. So that's when we just come out of, I've actually done really well in it before. I fished it probably two, three months ago. Uh, I had eight fish in 24 hours and I had 320s as well, so that was absolutely brilliant. I think the biggest was something like 26, something like that, but yeah. Um, that was the swim back there, 18 wraps out to that spot, just normal baiting, uh, just flicking out, up, up to about two kilos out with a spod, um, and, and fished over the top of that really with bags. So 50, 52 and 51 then, I think this is our yeah. choice really. We're gonna fish here, which is just up from the swim I just mentioned, um, but we've got plenty of, plenty of water in front of us and there is the wind's hacking in this corner so hopefully the fish don't sit on the back of the wind they, they, they come with the wind that'd be ideal so yep yeah, so that's it we've made our decisions 51 52 um matt's going to fish the spot that i've fished previously and i'm going to fish sort of straight out in front of me there um yeah. try and find a spot of a marker Whew. so we just got to our swim i need to join mate watchers definitely my god, my fitness is terrible. See, so we've just turned up. We're gonna start getting our gear ready now. So the plan of action is, uh, I've put my, put my marker out then. I've found a spot. I was, I was markering about for quite a while, to be fair, and there really isn't much out there. There's one little 
bar that goes across. It's 14.2 wraps out um, and it's uh, about 10 foot deep. So it's a real deep bar um, out there. So hopefully, I've, I've got my marker out there now. I've made up some spod mix, which I'll show you in a second. I'm just gonna spod that. So I've got like a, a mix here. Myself and Matt went to Point Dexter's yesterday. Uh, we got some maggot. How many? How much did we get? We got 24 pounds worth of maggot, didn't we? Really, and just split it down the middle. About yeah, about eight pounds. So we got about four points each in there. With just some with some chili hemp, uh, just some boilies, uh, and they were drowned in about a liter of uh, tutti frutti oil, weren't they? So yeah, 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 hopefully, and, um, little. Pineapple, terrible I've got too much time on my hands clearly um, but yeah I don't know if you can see it but I'll try and zoom in out there now um, just about see the marker out there which is just you can see it in the screen it's sort of at the tip of the So I've just spotted about 10, 13 spots-ish on the spot and I'm going to fish two rods quite tight next to each other on that. So here's what I'm fishing, two little mini flying back leads with a bead in the middle and another bead there to a, just a generic leader. Um, but what this does is it flies back and uh, pins everything down but I also like the one run one towards me so it pins it down towards me. Not many people do that but that's something I've done for a good long time. Uh, going down a little bit more, um, just a little bit of putty on the leader itself to, to, to sink it down that a little bit more. If you can pick that up on the camera there. Yeah. And then down to the business end, two and a half ounce uh, lead there, a distance lead. Um, just, a, just a normal clip on the end. With underneath that is a little quick clip so I can change my links in the night quicker. Going down to some 25 pound semi-stiff uh, braid. We've again some more putty on the line. And so yeah, right at the bottom there, I've got a little bit of, I've got a size eight Raptor, the real sharp ones. I always like to fish quite a smallish hook. Um, a 15 mil, a 10 mil, and then just a few fake buoyant uh, uh, maggots on the bottom there. Being this time of year, hopefully they get down on the maggots but we'll see so that's it rods out uh, on the spot tight probably about half a rod lengths width uh, next to each other so really really tight um, but i put the bait really really tight as well at 13 uh, sorry at what i've done is i put it at 15 wraps and it's 4-2 so it gives that a little bit sort of pullback so i'm fishing bang on the spot in theory um, but yeah we shall see sit tight and just wait now so we're about 15 minutes on from the last clip. I just had a knock on the right hand rod. My bobbin didn't go up, but I am fishing back lead, so it was, I would have said it was definitely a bite or fish moving over the spot. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that's something, there is some life, even though the water at the moment is completely dead. The wind is still sort of encouragingly coming more towards us, more than anywhere else. It's quite flat though, to be fair. Um, but yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, we have a fish soonish. So how are you feeling? You feeling confident? Yeah, once I want to go out of the sneezing fit, I will do, yeah. <laughs> Bless his air. The cold coming on it while he's fishing. And mate, I had cold for a fucking week, mate, that alone fucking now. But yeah, no, I do feel confident in where we're set up at the moment. I believe um, preparation that we took prior to um, getting the rods out was the right idea to do. I've not done that much before, but getting back into it, it's, uh, seems to be working out quite well. So, um, so yeah, fingers crossed. So it's now about quarter past six. The rods have been out, we haven't brought them in. Nothing as of yet, just that bite I mentioned earlier. Uh, it didn't sort of result into anything, so it was a bit of a shame, but hopefully 
we'll keep going if I have a fish in the night or in the next couple of hours I think the plan is to get it and then probably top up with a few spots I'll keep you updated well I don't know if you can see me guys but it's about 20 to 10 now it's really cold out there no knocks no nothing yet as it well just just sorry just what the one knock um, and yeah very quiet so it's now half five in the morning you need to leave your light on Wally oh. <laughs> half five in the morning not a scooby all friggin night the wind is getting worse it's hacking in this corner even more now like strongly towards us so we're gonna sit on it i think i don't think it's worth topping up any bait yet until we've had a, a had a bite so we're gonna wait and just wait a little bit longer i think so morning guys it is now half past 10 no fish on the bank i know it's depressing i've just i've just topped up again i've just put about another 10 spots out on the spot um we've got to about two ish so hopefully we can nab one out before we go it'd be good to beat the blank i've, I've, I've fished here about sixish times this year and I haven't blanked yet so if I blank this time it'll be a shame it really will but fingers crossed uh, hold tight keep the bait going in I think and I'm going to recast my rods potentially in a second I haven't recast them since I've been here but I was quite confident when I put them in I think if you're confident keep them where they are obviously not confident enough clearly you're feeling depressed mate <laughs> So there's about 30 minutes to go now, nothing as of yet, um, it's not looking very promising to be honest, it's a real shame, I flipped myself around. Okay guys, so that was Ben's 24 hour session at Fort Lee Fishery down in London. Uh, unfortunately, as everyone knows in fishing, you're not uh, guaranteed to catch a fish every time and unfortunately in this case, he didn't. But guys, if you did enjoy this video, please hit the subscribe button and do hit the like button too. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you turn on notifications on our channel as well and follow us on Facebook too. Thank you very much for watching guys and have a great day.